Hey guys, this is EJ Holland with the Wolverine.com, and Michigan has scored another big win on the recruiting trail. Before we dive into that, though, I want to invite you guys to subscribe to the Wolverine.com today. Just $10 until next football season gets you premium insider information on all things Michigan recruiting, the team, basketball, basketball recruiting, NIL, transfer portal, and a great message board community over at the Fort. Just $10 until August of 2023. If you're already a subscriber, you can gift a subscription. Christmas is right around the corner, and there's no better gift for the holidays. All right, guys, let's dive into Michigan's latest win on the recruiting trail. The Wolverines were able to flip Nebraska linebacker commit Hayden Moore. Uh, Moore coming off his official visit to Michigan, and actually an unofficial visit as well. He visited Ann Arbor on back-to-back -back weekends. The Wolverines made a big impression on him and his family and were able to complete the flip away from their Big Ten bunkmates. Uh, Moore is definitely an interesting prospect, but before we talk about him as a player, let's uh, discuss his recruitment as a little bit. This one was definitely interesting. Like I said, Michigan landing him after back-to-back -back visits, but this recruitment goes way back to the summer. Michigan offered more um in the off season they were slated to get a summer official visit but michigan had some other linebackers high on the board they were working on keeping raylan wilson they were pushing for samaj bridgman who eventually committed and before moore was even able to make it to campus he went ahead and committed to nebraska on the spot now michigan never really lost contact with moore especially after raylan wilson ended up ending ended up decommitting and ended up at Georgia. So you had a one linebacker left in the class in Samaj Bridgman. Uh, Michigan, again, continued to just keep tabs on more, checking in, and obviously Nebraska parted ways with head coach Scott Frost early in the year, and that allowed Michigan to really work its way back into the picture. Now, Moore's a really quiet kid by nature. He doesn't do many interviews, doesn't post a lot on social media his instagram's private his twitter is almost not active very much so um he's a guy that really keeps private but michigan worked hard behind the scenes there were a couple of other schools that reached out to hayden moore um as well including texas a and m and here as we head towards the early signing period moore went ahead and made an unofficial to michigan last weekend he originally was scheduled to make an official visit to Texas A&M, canceled that, returned to Michigan for an OV after liking it so much the first time. And on this official visit, Moore got the full visit experience. You know, when he made it the trip for his unofficial the previous weekend, he didn't really necessarily get that. Uh, coaches were on the road. Jim Harbaugh was making in-homes. So he didn't get that in-depth look at the program. But again, it moved the needle so much that he came in for a second time as opposed to going down to Texas to see the Aggies. So on this visit, George Hilo did a fantastic job of really um, explaining the value of the Michigan program, both on and off the field. Defensive coordinator Jesse Minter was heavily involved as well. Uh, explained to him his N NFL style scheme, the way he would fit in, how he could make an impact, when he could make an impact, all that good stuff. So I think the combination of Hilo and Minter worked really, really well. Um, you know, Hilo caught some flack earlier in the cycle after losing Raylan Wilson and not adequately replacing him, but he has a good mix of linebackers now committed. So you have Samaj Bridgman who's the bigger, thumper, true Mike-style linebacker that'll come up and lay the wood. Then he has a project type in Breon Ishmael, who might spin down to edge, but uh, definitely offers some athletic upside as a traditional linebacker. You also have a defensive athlete, Jason Hewlett, that could fill one of the linebacker roles. He's one of my favorite prospects in the class, a guy with a ton of sideline to sideline speed and athletic uh, upside. And then you have Hayden Moore, who's kind of in between all of these guys. He's not a super athlete. He's not a super big guy. But at six foot three, two 210 pounds, he's pretty versatile. He can do a lot of different things. And so that lets us transition 
into what he brings to the table and what he's going to bring to Ann Arbor. So if you're a Michigan fan, which I'm assuming you are if you're listening to this, you know Michigan is going to play TCU. And if you watch TCU uh, on their run of the college football playoff, they play a 3-3-5 defense. He's a guy that's just so athletic in pass coverage. You know, he's not a wow factor prospect in any one particular area, but he's really good and he has a good frame. So there's a lot to work with there uh, for Kilo, Jesse Minter, and of course, Ben Herbert, who is the uh, strength and conditioning guru in Ann Arbor and will definitely maximize more. But I think Moore is a guy that fans probably won't be super excited, but you'll be glad you'll have to have him in Michigan's linebacker room in a couple of years. I think there's a lot of tools to work with. I think the fact that he's a high floor guy in the sense that he's good in a lot of areas um, will help his uh, will help expedite his development. So he, he also looks a part of a high IQ player. He knows what he's doing. He fills the assignment um, in that three three five scheme. Things can get a little complicated, but on film, it looks like he's uh, right where he needs to be all the time. So just a really good land. I think his ranking, which I believe is 1,245 or something close to that, is uh, way too low. I think he's somewhere, a guy that should be ranked somewhere from, um, you know, 450 down to 600. I think he's in that range. Uh, and again, while that's not exciting, I think you'll be happy to have Peyton Moore in the linebacker room in the future. All right, guys, for all your latest recruiting information, subscribe to thewolverine.com. Like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is completely free.